No, no. No. Oh. Finite Champion is back. Back in my life, at least. And I wanted to go for the rarest trophy in the game, which didn't look all that hard. A fist for every face, a 0.3% trophy that doesn't actually look that difficult. It's very time consuming, but not necessarily difficult. Defeating every fighter on the roster might look daunting for some, but not to me. To me, let's stick it on champion difficulty, the second highest difficulty on the game, greatest of all time, of course, the hardest. Get through all 69 fighters in the game. Yes, 69. Nice. Make sure you check them off a list, otherwise you'd be looking silly when you miss one. Obviously, I can't feature every fighter in the game as the video would be hours long. So we're going to highlight some of my favorite moments in it. Lots of ups, lots of downs, and make sure to stay until the very end where we fight Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. Now we start this journey at Bantamweight, there is only one fighter in this division. There are seven divisions total in this game, Bantamweight, Featherweight, Lightweight, Welterweight, Middleweight, Light Heavyweight, and Heavyweight. So let's get into it guys, and I hope you enjoy all the fights. Start off with a jab, nice little jab. Takes the game up. Step in. Oh, he's quick, he's quick. Oh, I'm getting tagged here. Oh, rocked him. End of the round, end of the round. Okay, he saved, saved there. Oh, I got him here. Against the ropes. Have I got him? Have I got him? Take your time. Yeah, first knockdown. First knockdown. Oh, what a shot. What a right hand. One down. Now, obviously, in these games, you have overall ratings. Now, we are just picking the best rated people, typically, and fighting off against the lessers. There's no reason we can't have a little challenge and pick Billy Dib here, for example, against Gamboa. Even on this difficulty, we can run through some opponents in the first few rounds just based on ratings alone. It's going to be the more renowned fighters I showcase in this video. Penel Whitaker is definitely one of them. Here we go, I'm excited. We've got the Southpaw Penel Whitaker, who's one of the greatest lightweights ever. Work the body, work the body. Oh! Come on, I'm not giving him a chance to get his attack off. Using the jab. As soon as he starts engaging, just. Unleash a quarter of your stamina on that jab. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, double left. That was a straight left as well, but it connected so close to him, it, it almost looked like a hook. Got him, got him. Worked the body, worked the body, just defended his body way too much, left his head wide open, no guard. I can see that straight left coming right through now. Back it off. Great left. I can see it. There, there. I think Jesse's done. I did think Whitaker was so overpowered that maybe I should play Leha against Whitaker, and I did, and it took until the ninth round to actually do something. It was such a hard fight. You can see the stamina bar was just draining all the time, and obviously if you have low stamina, you're going to get knocked out so fast. It really did take a lot of concentration to do this. And by the end of the game, you know, I'm playing for six, seven, eight hours straight. The improvement I make throughout this game is insane. After beating Penel Whitaker in a nine round war, we get on to Roberto Duran and finish off the lightweight division. Hold him again, hold him again. Hey, he's down. This has got to be a 10 count. Two uppercuts to knock him down. Look at these. Boom. Let me show the second one. Damn right it does. I mean, look, he's swinging and a miss. Just two left hooks in a row. You're not even meant to do that. Oh, beautiful round the, round the guard. Right hook round the guard. Dropped him again. Dropped him again. Duran might be done here. Round the guard. Look at that. Blocking too much. Doesn't hold up, buddy. Oh, Duran down. Vinny Paz left in lightweight. We're done. Look, the stamina's gone. Look, the stamina is gone off him. I'm going to wait till he does that again. Blow the load. Blow the load. Ready? Now. He's, his stamina is... He's very bad at... Yeah. The Vinny Paz AI is not good. Lay down. Yes. Vinny Paz done. 
let's move on. We next move into the welterweight division where obviously you've got fan favourites like Manny Pacquiao, Ricky Hatton obviously because I'm a Brit, got to showcase a little bit of the hitman. Plays Pacquiao as well here. Uh, well, it makes me want to play Hatton already seeing his shorts. And Hatton's got me against the ropes again. Just defend. Oh, why is he, he clinched up? You fool, you fool, you let me off. He had me, man. Hatton's inside game is so good. His footwork in real life, is, that was his moneymaker. Cutting those angles. Oh, beautiful Pacquiao. Come on. Come on, Manny. Oh, knocked him down with an uppercut. Not even a hurt. Just straight knockout. Knockdown. On the replay, he even missed. There's no way he survived this round, surely. Just hooks. Yeah, he's, he's done. That's it. Showcasing with Ricky Hatton myself, I thought, hey, let's fight Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns was a monster in real life, and in the game, same here. The challenge wasn't to fight the higher overalls as a lower overall, but it did mix in a little bit of fun when you want to try new guys out. We pick up the action with Oscar De La Hoya versus Manny Pacquiao, and I use De La Hoya a lot in this game because I don't know why, he just suited my playstyle. Changing hooks, he's countering me a lot. And he's he's evading really well, Pacquiao. Oh man, is he cracking me. He's using his stammer up a lot though. He's using his stammer up a lot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful again. Just constant beauty. Oh. Oh, he dipped into that. He dipped into that. Look at that. Watch. Dips in. Right in the neck. <laughs> what an uppercut. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's not getting up from that one. That's it, he's done, he's done, he's done, surely. Woo, Pacquiao out. Of course, not every fight goes smoothly. Oh, he's knocked me down, he's knocked me down. We were the right. Skimmed me eye. <laughs> oh man. He has knocked me down. Come on, let's get up, let's get up. I'm up, I'm up. Let's get a rack. So Oscar goes down. What every get off me. We're fighting. We're not cuddling. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. Oh, what a combination. How his chin is made of stone. I don't know. That's my chance to pounce. Right there. That's it. He's done. He is done. Look at that. Face planted. Even though a lot of this challenge was going so smoothly, anyone that fights Sugar Ray Leonard, I feel, would have the similar experience I had. Adversity was the word that kept coming to mind as I had to fight back multiple times against Sugar Ray. Oh, oh, I'm rocked. I'm rocked already. I'm rocked already. I'm rocked already. Ray? Ray? Okay, I think Ray's just so much better. I mean, what a beautiful shot he hit me with. All right, let's get up. Come on, let's get up. We can do this. We can get up. We can get up. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We're up on three. Oh, and he knocked me down again. I'm trying to jab his head off and he just cleanly hits me. Twice in one round. Okay, I need to buck up my ideas. I need to really buck them up now. Oh, 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 oh. The uppercuts. Yes. Come on. Come on. <sighs> You're getting up. He's down. Sugar Ray's done. That was tough. Knocked down twice in the first round to come back. That was tough. After having the toughest fight today, we jump up to the middleweight division and we play Sugar Ray Robinson. Not without the troubles of being knocked down a few times, we do have a fairly easy run at knocking out six or seven guys. That is until we find we have to fight Sugar Ray Leonard at middleweight as well, which gives us the hardest fight and also my favorite fight of the challenge come on oh no no oh. come on oh oh call me with an uppercut
Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up from this. Oh. So slow now. Come on, come on, get up, get up. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, up, 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 up. No! No! Ah! I've got one knockdown. That jab was. Oh, he just ate like four of those. Oh! 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 Yes! Yes! Oh, he's still back for more. It's never over with him. It's never over. Oh, it's over! <laughs> what a counter right! Oh! Come on! Moving into light heavyweight, there are actually only four fighters in this division. Using Roy Jones Jr., we actually clear up pretty swiftly. I thought Joe Calzaghe would put up a better fight and got him out of there in the second. Finally getting to heavyweight, we get the big boys I actually wanted to play with all along, and we start with Mike Tyson. We use Mike to actually dismantle most of the division. We play around with David Hay, we play around with Muhammad Ali, Vladimir Klitschko. There's so many incredible names in this division. Let's go, Mike. I'm going to play like Mike as well. Inside, inside the range, work the body, hooks to the head, big uppercuts. <laughs> That's Mike Tyson. We then got on a little rampage with Mike Tyson, taking out all the guys that are rated significantly lower. This put it in my head that Mike Tyson is probably the most overpowered guy in the game. Not the highest rated, but the most overpowered suited my playstyle perfectly of getting inside the range and spamming hooks. I decided then, even though we're on champion difficulty, might be worth trying some other guys out, including Butterbean? I'm Johnny Knoxville. And I'm Butterbean. Ah, that classic fight of Muhammad Ali versus Butterbean. This is going to be the quickest one yet, I think. Although the size of Butterbean. Get up, Bean of Butters. Ah, he's fallen. So Butterbean sucked, but David Hay doesn't. As a Brit, gotta try him out. Alright, come on, buddy. A little bit of some, eat some jabs, right hand. Both low on stamina. I feel like either of us. Oh, what a, what a combination! Any of us could go down right now. I'm enjoying using. Oh, any one of us could go down, and but it's not gonna be me. Oh, in the cheek. We then jump into dominating the Klitschko brothers in Vladimir and Vitali. But once we dealt with the Klitschko brothers, we jump back into Mike Tyson, and I kind of got a false sense of security here because beating Joe Frazier so easily, and this is Joe Frazier, one of the greatest fighters of all time, especially of that certain generation with the George Foremans. We beat him up. We really beat him up with Mike Tyson here, knocking him down with a beautiful combination. Made me feel like, hmm, maybe defeating Muhammad Ali isn't going to be that hard. Or maybe defeating Mike Tyson isn't going to be that hard. We then start one of the two fights I was very scared of. Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson are both the best fighters most notable in the game for me. I thought fighting Muhammad Ali was going to be the easier of the two, which is really hard to say out loud, just because Mike Tyson suits my style, and he is ferocious. I feel like I might be better against Ali, just because Tyson, if I get inside, Tyson's going to have so much power. Like that, like that. I've already cracked him. I've cracked him. I've cracked him. 50 seconds into the fight. But I feel like keeping Tyson off of you is a lot harder job. Yeah, I'm draining. He's he's really. If I can get through that reach. Inside. Beautiful. Oh, there's Tyson. Come on. Do some hip movement. Like I got a hula hoop on. Oh, come on, Ali. Yes, in the first. I told you I'd be good with Tyson. I'm not high. I'm not hoping well for the other way around. Performing out my skin here. Six hours of six hours of playing. 
has made me into the Matrix in Fight Night. Yeah, got him. I got him. I got him. And that's it. First round against Muhammad Ali. Okay, well, swap it over now while I'm in this... I'm in the Matrix. Let's swap it round. All right, here we go. Final fight. Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson. Come on. Come on, Mikey. I'm already out of stamina. Jesus Christ. Okay, he's on me. I thought it'd be a really hard job to keep a Mike Tyson off of you. It's a lot easier to try to get inside than, in my opinion, stay on the outside on this game. Eat my counters too. I can counter too. Come on. Oh, leave. Oh, leave. Okay, sorry. He's a lot better at regaining his stamina, I'll tell you that. Oh, beauty. Come on. Ow. I'm not sure who's won this first round. It's close, though. Oh, yeah. I'm having a lot of success. This is a lot harder than the Tyson v. Ali fight, though. Playing as Tyson's a lot easier. Although I'm running out of stamina, so this gets into the later rounds. Might be a bit screwed. Oh! Oh no, he's rocked me, he's rocked me. Oh! On the bell, he rocked, he knocked me down on the bell. Oh, we gotta get up, we gotta get up, we gotta get up, we gotta get up. We're up, we're up. We're up on three. Oh, apparently Tyson's won all three rounds according to Teddy. That's not good, is it? That stamina always. Ah! Oh. <sighs> keep him at range keep him at range i fought on the inside in the last fight which is probably why i got knocked out maybe it can be a lot easier to beat tyson on not even the hardest difficulty it's the second hardest oh that's that's where i'm gonna get knocked out i try and try and become tyson as ali keep him at bay pump that jab out yeah see, it destroys his stamina when i pump the jab Oh! Why is his stamina so low? It's not recovering. It's not recovering. It's because he's moving. Oh, I can't, can't take advantage. He's just going to block through it all. Get off me, Mike. Oh! Oh! Counter right. Into the body. Oh, I don't know what to do to rock him. <laughs> He's got. So <laughs> he won't go down. <laughs> How tough are you? That was the most perfect combination I could have countered with, and you still didn't go down. I'm on. I'm in the matrix now. I feel it. I feel it. Just swarm him. Just swarm him. Yes. 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 Oh! Straight right. You you fight at range with Ali, you win. Do not fight in close with Tyson. That's how you, you get knocked out like I did. Yes! Woo! Woo! So with everyone done, I was fully expecting to see a gold trophy pop. It didn't. After a long trophy like this, doubt starts creeping in. Did I miss someone? I ticked everyone off on the sheet. This was six to seven hours of pure fighting on champion difficulty in nearly one sitting. I went and had a look on the trophy list as sometimes the trophies don't pop. Still nothing. I mean, look at that confused face. I was really bummed out about this until two days later. 5th of the 3rd, 2023. I noticed on my phone on the PlayStation app that I had got the trophy. Really strange, and it's a really anticlimactic pop for the trophy because I finished the challenge on the 3rd of the 3rd, two days prior. I have no idea what happened, it's just one of those things. This was a really fun challenge to do. Wasn't as hard as I expected, but it was really long. Let us know in the future if you want to see single trophies, full games, platinums. Check out the channel for more videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.